If Instagram is your jam and you want to increase your views and engagement whenever you go live, I'm going to share with you how to level up your Instagram live video content by adding images and video clips. Now, if you have been on social media for any length of time, you will know that live stream is a firm part of any form of video marketing strategy. It's implemented and integrated into pretty much every single platform that we use. However, the landscape of live streaming has completely changed to when I first started live streaming in 2015. Let me know when you started live streaming and what are the differences that you see? Because I'm sure you can attest to the fact that gone are the days when you could go live no matter the platform and get lots of views. Everyone's attention span is depleting. So we had to capitalize on the opportunity to not only create the very best experience for our audience, but we've got to get their attention in the first place and be able to keep it. So I'm going to share with you step by step how to create presentation images for Instagram live using Canva. Now I have to preface and say that at the time of this recording, we can only utilize this feature in Instagram if you are an iOS user. So if you are on Android, you can't leverage this feature, but hopefully this is something that Instagram is going to change. But knowledge is power. Now I know some of you might be saying, well, what is knowledge without being able to apply it? but we still need to be ahead of the curve so when the goodness drops, you are ready. I'm gonna encourage you to get your mobile device out, go onto the old Instagram and follow this step by step. Or if you don't wanna do it step by step with me right now with your mobile, get yourself a notepad and pen. Or if you haven't subscribed, you can subscribe to the video, save it and come back to it a little bit later. So before I share with you the steps, things that you need to remember is to create your images first, download them to your mobile and ensure that the images are the most recent in your camera roll. The reason you want to do this is because once you go live, you don't want to be scrambling through your camera roll to find the appropriate images or video clips. So if you have them as the most recent, you will be able to easily find them and add them to the live and it will flow like milk and honey. So the first step is once you are live, you want to select the image icon. So the image icon will be on the top right hand corner or maybe left depending on your settings. But when you select that icon, that's going to immediately take you to your camera roll to be able to access access the assets that you want to share, whether it is images or it is video clips. So once you have selected the image icon, you are then going to want to select the image or video you want to add to the live stream. My recommendation here is to make sure that each of the images or the video clips that you're going to add have something that shows you which one is next in line. So whether you put it in numerical order or you change the color of the asset so it's easy for you to clearly identify what goes next. And this is simply just to help the flow of the live stream so that you continue to flow in your zone of genius and stay in control. So once you have selected an image, you can switch those images by choosing a different asset. So you can go live and choose to have just one image, but if you want to present different images or different videos just to help the live stream be more dynamic, it's very easy and simple to switch from one to the other. All you need to do is select the option, choose a different asset. It's as simple as that. And it will just take you to the next visual that you want to share. Now, one of the things that I want to say to you and just give a bit of advice on is that if you are using just the one static image, great, it's giving your audience something else to look at. But I would encourage you throughout that live stream to switch from the asset to yourself. And it's really simple and easy to be able to do that. You can stop sharing to bring the camera back to you at any time by selecting the stop sharing option. And all you would need to do to be able to access that option is to go back to the picture icon that I showed you at the beginning of the video. I personally prefer having a number of different images to switch between because it just helps that live stream to be a lot more interactive and dynamic and visually appealing and attractive to the audience. 
So you can do this, switch between the images or video clips and yourself, whether you have one image or you have multiple images. But I just want to remind you that if it is a single image and you want to keep the attention of your audience for longer, take the time to get into the habit of practicing switching between the image and bringing the camera back to yourself. Now I know that you are saying, Janine, I am loving all of this, but uh, how do I actually do this? Well, I have in fact created a video that shows you step by step what you need to do. So be sure to check out that video when the card pops up. I'll also link it in the description below. But what if I told you, you have the perfect opportunity to have your hand held through the process of creating your video content and your live streams, doing all of the more technical aspects of live stream and video content creation. Well, you're in luck because the doors for the Video Boss Academy are open. If you want to learn the very best strategies for live streaming and video content creation, the Video Boss Academy is going to be the perfect solution for you. You will have both the coaching and community support from myself and other Video Boss Academy members, as well as access to lots of courses and resources that are going to help you 10x your results and take you through step by step along with teaching you practical applications for presenting your videos with confidence. So be sure to click below to find out more. So now I have shared with you how to boost your engagement and views using video and images for your Instagram Live. I have a question of the day for you. What is currently your favorite feature or tool on Instagram? What is it that you are currently using? You're like, I can't do without this tool. <laughs> And I mean, real. Do let me know in the comments. I have a challenge for you. I want you to actually practice doing this. Go and create your Canva images. Make sure they are correctly sized using the dimensions for Instagram stories. And to make sure that you click onto this video, which is going to show you step by step how to add those images to your Instagram lives. And I will see you on the next video.